Butterflies or the heaven sent kisses? How to? Whenever I see a butterfly fluttering around me, I feel very happy that someone from the heaven has sent their blessing. It feels like we are receiving a gentle kiss from heaven, a reminder that our loved ones are always with us. After my dad's demise, I always feel comfort in the thought that he is watching over us through these beautiful creatures. And when the butterflies land on my hand, hope that fail, it's indescribable. It's beyond happiness, maybe the pure bliss. Butterflies do spread happiness wherever they go. They are meant to spread happiness, aren't they? They are the symbol of hope and miracles. They prove us that the torments we confront now is just a temporary phase and once we pass it patiently, a wonderful life awaits us. This chisel is something special. It looks like a colorful jewel. Jezebel, a colorful jewel. Wow, she has got a new pet name. Many of you know this. I have been raising butterflies for a few years now. I raised the caterpillars of the Jezebels, but I never had an opportunity to see them emerge from their chrysalises, cause they always chose the earliest morning hours to come out. So when I woke up, they all were set to perform their first flight, and the moment I opened the box, they flew away without even bidding goodbye. But that was also a great experience to see them flying high across the sky. But I always wished to hold them at least for a minute, but it didn't happen. However, this cutie pie decided to make me happy. It built its chrysalis home on our grill without intimating us. And one fine morning, when I opened the door to collect the milk pockets, a delicate flying flower slapped my face. The beautiful slap I ever experienced. Oh, it's not a flower, it's my jewel, the Jezebel. Oh, what a beautiful blessed morning. I never knew that my favorite butterfly would be relaxing on my hand one day. It was one of the most beautiful moments of my life. When it landed on my hand, I am transported to a wonderful land where only butterflies, flowers and birds exist. And when it flew away, my anxieties it looted out. How could that be even possible? I wonder what butterflies would say if they could speak. Will they say verses about those tenebrous days peak the endurance-like chrysalises? Will they lament thinking of the caterpillar wasted days but the times they just spend only on eating, pooping and around to lace? Will they weep, initiating the efforts they did while confronting the birds flying high? Or do they show the obscure places to hide? What would they say? They perhaps swiftly sway to prove that they don't have time to carry away. Aren't they just born to release the present second? And also visiting the flowering lands weekend? Ergo, they have no voice. All they do is rejoice. So let's cherish the present moment like this beautiful butterfly does. So that's all for today. I just wanted to share my happiness with you. Hope you all like the butterfly story. So I'll meet you all in my next video. 